Welcome into the Extra Point presented by Corner Pub in Brentwood on 710 Old Trigger Boulevard for Nashville's best meat and threes, craft beers, and more. The neighborhood meets at the corner. Mark Harris in for Zach again on this Extra Point and the Preds Stanley Cup playoff run is over, losing in game six of the Stanley Cup final, 2-0. But Mark, I want to go through our three stars of the playoffs for the Preds. First, give me your third star. Third star for me is Matias Ekholm. I thought okay. he had a fantastic series. Um, I'll say it all day long. I think him and P.K. Subban are the, it's the top defensive pairing in the NHL. You look at his back-end numbers, he's not going to be on the score sheet every night or anything like that, but right. he's an exceptional skater. Just He, he dominated. He, he, he had his coming out party. You just saw him skating. I mean, he, he was fantastic to me. Yeah, he had 10 assists. Only yeah. one goal, but 10 assists right. was tied for the team lead. That gets the job done. Yeah, for sure. I think Ekholm's a good piece. I, I don't have Ekholm in my top three. My third is a little under the radar guy. I'm going to put Colton Sissons as my third star in the playoff because of what was asked of him after Ryan Johansson went down. He had 12 points, six goals, six assists, mm -hmm. so he had production there. But he was asked to go from the fourth line center to the first line center in the Western Conference Finals on the road in Anaheim yeah. in a pivotal Game 5 and produced there. Then, you know, he had a hat trick in Game 6 to wrap that up. So I think Colton Sissons is my third star of the playoffs for the Preds. Who's your second? I'm going Philip Forsberg. I know right. he was very, very quiet against Pittsburgh. He only had one goal. That was his lone point. Empty net goal, even. It wasn't, yeah. you know, a big, wasn't a big moment. I mean, it was to seal that game off. But um, I, he still led the team in points by a wide margin. Had nine goals, seven assists. He was an absolute monster against Anaheim. Front of the back in every single game. Um, I don't. I don't think you can't have him in your top two. I don't have him in mine. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't. I, I just think because of his drop off in the Stanley Cup final, that's, that's, I didn't put him in there. Yeah. Because I, I and I gotta stand by my word, Mark. I said before the series that Philip Forsberg has to be a point per game player for the Preds yep. to win, and only one point on the empty netter. He had two points waved off. Yep. But I go with Ryan Ellis as my second star. I mean, we saw this guy just battle through game six. I don't know what injury he's got. It'll come out later, but it's said to be pretty severe. And he had 13 points, was third on the team mm -hmm. in points. And I think he's a backbone of the team. And he had the seven-game point streak early in the playoffs. I yep. uh, had a little bit of a lull there, but came strong. If he didn't play game six the other night, there's no way the Preds would have been even close right. to forcing a game seven mm -hmm. against Pittsburgh. I have a feeling I know who your number one star yeah, is. Yeah, sure it's probably the same. I think we agree on this <laughs> yeah. one for sure. Which I think some people might argue with this, but we've True. got I've got Pecorini, I'm sure you do too. Yep. Um he obviously did not play worth the crap in Pittsburgh. There's no way around that. Yeah. But um he still ended the playoffs with a nine thirty save percentage. If the if the Preds did hoist the cup, he gets that MVP trophy and hugs it and nobody even comes close to right. it. I mean he was fantastic. Um, the first three series, obviously against Chicago, he was unreal. Um, throughout the playoffs, I mean, he was the MVP, and he was just he was a monster in that. Yeah, three bad games. Right. And, and and really, he had the one bad period in Game Five against Pittsburgh. They yanked him, tried to get him ready for Game Six, and, mm -hmm. and Sorrows let it through. So that wasn't all on Pekka. We've had this discussion before, but he is by far the MVP of the Preds playoff run. There is no way they would have been that far without Peckham. Absolutely. And that's today's Extra Point brought to you by Corner Pub in Brentwood on A to Z Sports Nashville.com.